Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to create virtual machines in KVM by using network install. For network install, we use FTP, HTTP and the NFS to install the operating system inside KVM. Now I will show you one by one how to install virtual machines by using FTP, HTTP and the NFS. Now here, this is my client machine. I have a server machine. In that server machine, we are going to configure FTP, HTTP and the NFS to supply the required packages for installation of operating system for my clients. Now, I am going to take SSH connection to my server. Here you can see, now I have logged into my server, here I am going to configure FTP, now attach CentOS 7 installation DVD to your system, now type the command, here you can see, this is the CentOS 7 installation DVD, is attached to my system, now we need to mount the DVD, now run the following command, now hit enter, now the DVD is mounted to this mount point, you can verify type ls space slash mnt slash dvd here you can see the content inside the dvd now let's configure ftp server now run the command to install the package m space install space vsftpd space hyphen y and then hit enter now the package is installing wait for some time now the package is installed now run the command to create a directory in ftp directory path now type mkdir space slash var slash ftp slash pub slash send to s7 and then hit enter next we need to copy the contents inside the dvd to this directory path so type cp space iphone or space slash mnt slash dvd slash star to copy all content inside the directory and space slash var slash ftp slash pub slash send to s7 now hit enter and wait for some time now it's copied Next we need to start and enable the services. So type systemctl space start space vsftpd and then hit enter. Now enable it. Now add the firewall rule for ftp. Now type firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space iphone iphone add iphone service equal to ftp and then hit enter now reload the firewall iphone iphone reload and then hit enter now the ftp server is configured now let's create a virtual machine inside kvm now click here go to system tools and then click virtual machine manager this is the graphical front end for KVM. Now click here to create new virtual machine. Here type the name for your virtual machine. And then here you need to choose network install for this case. And then click forward. Now enter the URL for FTP server where the packages are available for installation. Now type the URL link as like this. And then click forward. Here choose your requirement to install a virtual machine. Now it's booting. Now here I can see the installation wizard. Now click here for full screen. Here I can choose your language and then click continue. 
here you can choose your requirement to install the operating system now configure your requirement here and then click begin installation now the installation process is started here you can set root password and you can create user account now I have created root password and user account and wait for some time now the installation is completed now click reboot now choose the boot option and hit enter now here you can see we have logged into the virtual machine which was newly created in KVM now shut on the machine now close this now the machine is turned off now let's configure NFS server now run the following command to install the package for NFS m space install space NFS star space hyphen y and then hit enter now the package is installing wait for some time now here you can see the packages for NFS is installed now run the following command to create a new directory mkdir space slash send to s7 here you can give any name now here you can see we have a dvd mounted in this mount point this is the send to s7 installation dvd now we need to copy all the contents from this dvd to this directory path now run the following command to copy the content cp space iphone r space slash mnt slash dvd slash star space slash send to s7 now hit enter now the contents are copied now run the following command to change ownership for the directory chhome space nfs nobody colon space slash send to s7 now hit enter now set the permission for the directory ch mode space 755 space slash send to s7 now hit enter now run the following command win space slash etc slash exports now we need to export the nfs share by creating entry in this file now hit enter now here create entry like this and then save the file now run the following command to update newly created nfs share to the kernel export fs space hyphen arv and then hit enter now the share is exported now start and enable the nfs service system ctl space start space nfs hyphen server and then enable the service enable hit enter now add the firewall rule firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equal to nfs now reload the firewall now hit enter now the nfs server is configured let's open the virtual machine manager to create new virtual machine now click here to create new virtual machine now enter the name for your virtual machine and then choose network install now click forward now here type the url for the exporter nfs share from the nfs server now enter like this and then click forward now choose your requirement and then click forward now click finish now we started the booting process wait for some time now the installer is starting now click here to full screen now choose your language and then click continue now complete all the steps as per your requirement and then click begin installation now the installation process is started you need to create root password and user account now the installation is completed now click here to reboot now it's rebooting now the virtual machine is booting if you want to shut down means you can click here 
shut down now the machine is turned off you can close this console this is our newly created virtual machine by using nfs server now let's configure the http server now run the following command to install the package for http server m space install space httpd space hyphen y and then hit enter now the package is installing wait for some time here you can see now the package is installed now create a directory under the default document root for apache mkdir space slash var slash www slash html slash send os now hit enter now run the following command to copy all the contents in centos 7 installation dvd to this directory path cp space hyphen r space slash mnt slash dvd slash star space slash var slash www slash html slash centos this is the mount point for centos 7 dvd now hit enter and wait for some time now the contents are copied now run the following command to start and enable the service for apache system ctl space start space httpd and then hit enter now enable it now add the firewall rule firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equal to http now hit enter now reload the firewall hyphen hyphen reload and then hit enter now the apache server is configured let's open the virtual machine manager now click here to create new virtual machine now type the name for your virtual machine and then choose here network install and then click forward now enter the url now type the url like this here this is the http server and this is the directory path where you have copied the packages for CentOS 7 installation now click forward and choose your requirement here you can see now the booting process is started wait for something here you can see now the installation result is started now choose your language and then click continue now here choose your requirement and then click begin installation and here set root password and create user account now the installation process is started wait for some time here you can see now the installation is completed now click reboot now choose the boot option and then hit enter now we are logging into the newly created virtual machine now login as root type user as root and type your password you can log into the machine to shut down the machine you can click here and click shut down now the machine is turned off you can close this console here you can see the machine we have created by using http server so this is how we can able to create virtual machine by using network install like ftp nfs and http that's all about for this tutorial hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching